morning everyone welcome back to my channel so today you might notice the background is a little bit different and that is because I'm actually on set shooting some content so I'm down at a place called studio noon I'll link them over here you can find them on Instagram and basically they are a beautiful all-white photo studio it's down in the Mordialic kind of area here in Victoria and I'm doing a little bit of like personal branding for my upcoming projects but I'm also shooting a little bit of UGC like user generated content type stuff today as well well. So thought I'd bring you guys along for a little bit of a day in the life and this is where mine is starting today. So a little update on Strawberry. I was told by the shelter that I'm allowed to rename the kittens whenever I get them because they kind of just give them a random shelter name. And I was thinking and thinking and I thought little girl would really suit Luna. So that's what I've renamed her to for the time that I've got her and maybe her new owner will like that as well. But I just thought Luna Moon it was a very cute name. She does look a little bit magical with her beautiful face markings. So that's an update. She has also put on over a hundred grams in weight, which is so, so good because I've only had her with me for a week. So she will be ready for desexing pretty soon. I think just got to get another hundred grams and hopefully by Christmas she'll be doing really well won't you missy i also just got my nails redone on the way home i really would have liked to have them done for the shoot but unfortunately the timing just didn't work out because i only randomly booked that studio on sunday and i got this pink but i don't know if i'm sold on it i feel like it's a little bit too pink but maybe that's kind of nice for the christmas summer sort of vibe to go with the tan i am actually fake tanned at the moment i did a layer of bondi sands because there's definitely just been no sunlight in melbourne I may or may not have also tripped and fallen into Chadston Shopping Centre on the way home and seriously I love Chadston. It is such a great shopping centre here in Melbourne and it just has absolutely everything. So I went with the intention to just buy an advent calendar because even though it is late in the year to be doing that I just felt like I kind of missed out and I was very very disorganised and a lot of them were sold out. So I ended up going to T2 and I got myself an advent calendar which I'm so excited about. So I thought having a T1 would be really nice. So I ended up getting this one called Sip the Future Hello and it's really really cute It's 24 individually wrapped teas. They also had like the loose tea version as well But I don't have a tea strainer and I kind of find that all of the tea kind of falls out unless you have a really bougie one So I just went for the tea bag version, but how cute I actually feel like they should just do these normally even if it wasn't an advent calendar So I've got a lot to open. I guess I'll just start from wherever I'm up to and go ahead and do that. But maybe I'll open one of these up now and make a tea, but this thing is absolutely enormous and I just think it's so cute. It's got a couple of fun little messages like start a new hobby, get out in nature, enjoy a cup of tea, watch a sunrise. So it's a very sweet little advent calendar and I am super, super happy I got my hands on one. They actually did have quite a lot of stock, but I have to tell you, it was still full price. I kind of thought that like buying it halfway through the Christmas season that they would have it on sale like most Christmas decorations and stuff, but no, it was full price. So anyway, I don't even want to say how much it was because it's kind of expensive, but it was literally $45 for the T2 advent calendar. So that is what I went ahead and spent my money on. Next thing I did was I went to Nike because I love wearing high socks with my gym outfits and I really wanted to get some just like everyday sort of colored socks that I can wear to the gym. And this pack was $25 and it has gray, black and white and they're just like the kind of crew style sock that sort of sits like quite high up on your ankles. So love those and they're also really super soft as well because a lot of the socks I had were really like just average and they've sort of faded off and things. I also went to JB Hi-Fi and got my dad a little gift card and they also had these like cute little gift card tins just to like make it look a little bit nicer. So I picked up one of those as well. 
And the last thing I did was I dropped into Mecca. What am I doing, Luna? <laughs> she decides to be involved in absolutely everything, don't you? So I went to Mecca and honestly, their wrapping is so cute this year for Christmas. It's not like Christmassy themed, I suppose, but I feel like you could just literally give someone this bag under the Christmas tree. You don't even need to go ahead and wrap it. So I just picked up a couple of things. This is my like go-to makeup setting spray from Morphe. It's just called the Mini Continuous Setting Mist. So I got a small size one because it's really handy to just like chuck into your handbag. I also got this Mecca Skin Splash. It's called like the Water Cooler um, Calming Serum. So I'll take it out of the packaging and show you since it's just for me, but it was in some like holiday themed sort of packaging. So this is the one and I actually just got this as a freebie in one of the, um, what do you call it? Like beauty loop bonus things that come with them every month. And I actually really liked it. So I thought I would buy it again. It was $25 and it's just kind of like an ultra hydrating, like almost like a hyaluronic acid sort of thing. Then I also thought I would try the sheet mask from GoTo, that Zoe Foster Blake's brand. And I haven't actually tried this yet, so I'll report back because I think it was $10 or $15 or something for a sheet mask, which is definitely more on the expensive side, but I do feel like she's put a lot of effort into her brand. So I'm hoping that one is really, really nice. And the last thing I got myself was a lipstick it's just from the mecca max pout pop lipstick and it's in the color mean girl which is just sort of like a bit of a nice i don't know like a peachy pink kind of i was just thinking i used to wear peachy pink kind of colors and then i've been using charlotte tilbury pillow talk but it is expensive and I'm just not 100% sure that it suits me, but I thought this would be kind of nice. This reminds me of like an old Clinique color that my mum used to give me that was called like honey or something. So anyway, I'll put some on and we'll see how it looks, but it's so cheap. I think this was like $20 as well or something. And it's actually quite nice quality too. So that is everything that I picked up at Chadston. So I dropped past the post office on the way back and I actually picked up a huge parcel full of swimwear and cover-ups for summer. And they are from Cupshe. So I wanted to thank Cupshe for sponsoring this portion of the video. They have some really incredible high quality swimwear and the sizing goes from extra small to 4X, which means it's going to fit every body. And I absolutely love that they've included such an inclusive size range because swimwear can be a little bit tricky and it's something that you just want to feel really confident and comfortable in when you're heading off down to the pool or the beach. I will link all of my sizes and all the information in the description box down below and they've also been kind enough to give me a discount code which I'll pop on screen now. It is MSC15 for 15% off your order and let's just get straight into it so I can try on all these pieces and show you everything that I've got. This first one is a beautiful black scoop neck kind of one piece and it's got this little wired V part at the front of it which offers some really amazing support. It actually feels like it's giving me a little bit of a lift around the cup area and the cups are padded as well which is definitely my preference although they are removable if you would prefer to take them out as well. On the back it has a beautiful low scoop detail and it also has adjustable straps so you can make it sit as low or as high as you need. This next one is a beautiful two-piece bikini. It is an olive green kind of color and I absolutely love the top. Yet again, it feels like it's giving me a really nice lift in the bust area and it also has adjustable straps on the back as well and the front portion is kind of like a crossover V pattern that sort of sits a bit lower on the hips. So this one yet again is a little bit of a fuller brief in the bottom to give you that little bit more coverage and I just think this is going to be an absolute favorite of mine. This next one is a another beautiful black one piece, this time with a bit of a tie up detail on the front and also a tie up on the neck with a little bit of a scoop back detail. Yet again, a little bit fuller in the bottom portion. And the best bit about this is the tie up neck and the tie front are both adjustable. So you can simply undo them and make it as tight or as loose as you want to have a little bit of a different appearance. The next piece I picked up is this really beautiful lightweight cotton black midi dress and it sits in a slight off the shoulder 
leather pattern which is held on by some elastic so it actually does stay there and I just thought this was the most beautiful throw on dress for summer it's really light and breezy it's very flattering and it's a gorgeous midi length so you feel slightly more covered up if it's a little bit breezy and I can definitely see myself throwing this on in the evening after a long day out in the sun the last piece I picked up is this beautiful lightweight stripy jumper it's in a white and black or navy kind of colored stripe and this is just such a classic wardrobe staple for any of those sort of trans seasonal days where it's a little bit breezy you could throw it on with some denim shorts or some black shorts and some little slides and it would just be the perfect day look ready to go rest of what I need to film and get done for today but I thought I would sit down and just have a little chit chat because I don't think I actually caught you guys up on how I ended up going with the eight week gym challenge so I did rejoin body fit I did a 12 week challenge there like years ago just before one of my birthdays where I had a little bit of a goal to kind of get my health on track and I thought it would be fun to kind of go back there because I hadn't really been doing like hard cardio and gym I was mostly doing like Pilates and boxing so now instead of having that sort of gym split where I did like a little bit of gym myself and Pilates and boxing I'm now doing body fit five days a week sometimes six days if I can kind of be bothered getting out of bed and going to the Saturday morning class which I actually kind of like because it goes for longer it's like an hour long kind of situation and it's a pretty social sort of place so I've met a few really nice girlfriends through like going to that gym again which is also really nice as I kind of feel like a couple of my friendships recently and I don't know if this is just a thing as you get older but you kind of like dwindle down on your friend group and for me personally I felt like I've been hello Luna in a little bit of a um, transitional sort of period with some people where I just don't know like quite how we kind of fit into each other's lives anymore and there was a particular friend of mine who I really did try my best to catch up with multiple times recently and I'm not even kidding when I say she cancelled on me seven times and kept trying to kind of reschedule things and I don't know it just got to the point where I was like I just think this isn't working out and I'm just going to back off completely from you know texting and organizing things and you know lo and behold like I have got barely any messages or anything since and I kind of thought like okay I think this was a little bit of like a one-way friendship and those sort of things are really like mentally difficult to get over because you kind of see like all of the time you've poured into and invested in this particular friendship and then I don't know it's just like frustrating because it's like that sunken cost kind of um like prophecy or whatever where it's like I've put all of this time and energy in over many many years do I continue to like give it all to this friendship or do I just look around for like other people who genuinely want to be in my life and are kind of reciprocating that effort because I feel like in terms of like little mindset blocks and things you can kind of really get stuck over here and where I want to be is here with people that are like congruent with where, like where I'm at in my life and things now and like my current values and it's kind of very normal to drift apart from people but I don't know why it just feels so difficult and weird that like I don't know some friendships just like don't seem to kind of last the test of time so I guess I've just been kind of mentally battling with that sort of stuff at the moment and I guess it is more front of mind when you're kind of coming to the end of the year I don't know why New Year's kind of does that little you know we're like new year new goals new life and all of that sort of stuff but I think a realistic goal for me is just reassessing like who I'm sort of spending my time with and yeah just that idea of like you are the company you keep and it's like what kind of company do I want to keep and it's not like I'm trying to get anything out of my friends like I genuinely just love being social and spending time with people and like chatting and you know just doing activities whether it be dinners and walks and stuff but yeah I'm rambling a little bit but I'm sure some of you have kind of felt the same I don't know I have had a few chats with people in my dms on instagram about this and I just think it's like a weird adult friendships thing that sometimes you just sort of have to deal with in life but anyway moving along I actually got myself a little bit of a present because after doing all the gym stuff 
Oh my God, she just took one of my joggers by the shoelace off the table and run off with it. But anyway, whatever, that's fine. I do need some new joggers anyway, so it's no big deal. Um, I got myself a present as a like finishing thing for doing the eight week challenge, but my physio will literally be screaming at the vlog right now because he's been telling me to get one of these for years. And it's kind of funny because I would usually just pay and like go to the physio because you know, you've got like private health cover. So it's sort of just like, whatever, who cares? But I, he, he, he has one of these sort of things and he keeps telling me to get one and I've just never done it. So here, Scott, I actually went and got one. It's called the Hydragon Atom and it's one of those little kind of personal massager things. And it actually is such a cute little one. It's portable. It is uh, rechargeable as well. So you don't have to worry about any like batteries and things like that. And it has three different head attachments as well. So I'm yet to kind of try them all out. I sort of just experimented with this flat head one, but it also has like a softer rubbery like pointed one and a round head one and I'm sure there's like a whole bunch of reasons and uses for all of them but essentially I have a little bit of scoliosis in my neck and I always get really tight in this bit I think that's called like your traps or something and also like around my shoulders and definitely a result of the kind of work I do and the fact that I'm very tall and I have really bad posture. So when I was growing up, my dance teacher used to joke that she would like sticky tape a ruler onto my back just to get me to like hold my shoulders back. And I know even as I do this, it feels really good, but I never do. So what I love about the Hydra Gun is the three different attachments, but also that it has three different speeds. So you can kind of choose your ideal massage intensity from three different speed settings. It's really quiet as well. So that's definitely an advantage because you you don't want something kind of making a ton of noise when it's supposed to be a relaxing activity and it also has up to five hours battery life so I kind of love that because I feel like this would be the perfect thing to take away on a trip where you were doing like skiing or hiking because I know how sore I am when I come off doing a big day of skiing and it would be so great to be able to just give myself a little massage with one of these so I actually think this is such a great little device. It fits in your hand and it's really light as well. So I'm definitely gonna be absolutely getting the most out of this Hydra Gun and I am very, very happy about that because it's probably gonna save me money on all my physio sessions. It's a bit later on now and you can spot Luna there in the background being a little menace again. She just has to get into absolutely everything. But I've just been sitting here trying to figure out what to do for the Christmas break. So I'm obviously going to, well, not obviously, but I'm going to stay here in Melbourne with Jazz's family for their Christmas. So they kind of do Christmas on Christmas Eve and then Christmas day, I usually go to one of my friend's houses. So I thought I would just kind of give myself a few extra days because I finished work on the 22nd. I don't know what day you guys are finishing on, but that's the Thursday, I think. And then on Friday, the 23rd, I planned a dinner with some girlfriends and um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of hate the idea. Like I've done it before in the past and I guess that's like the difficulty of anyone who lives interstate from their family. You will kind of know that like when work finishes, sometimes you just need a couple of days to like decompress and just chill instead of like packing a bag and getting straight on a plane somewhere else. You don't have any of your things around. You've had no time to kind of like sort out your house because there are just things that I'm looking at being like, I just need days to like clean and sort and reset myself because if I'm going to go away and not come back until the new year, that would just kind of really frustrate me that I'm like starting off going straight back into the work year without having had any time just to kind of do a couple of little bits and pieces around home. So I am going up on the 28th and to the Gold Coast, that is, um, which will be really exciting because my sister is actually here from America. So last weekend I got to see her for the first time in three years and I met her little boy, Oliver, who believe it or not is three now. So I've only ever met him over Zoom calls because he was born during the whole like pandemic thing. So we kind of never really got the opportunity to go back and forth because of all the border closures and things like that. So yeah, it was really, really nice to catch up. Um, I've kind of got to build a relationship with him, which sucks because I thought that he might kind of know me through like just, I don't know, the sound of my voice or the fact that we kind of have interacted via Zoom, but I think he's just too young. So I sort of, we went to the park and like played and things, but I haven't got an Auntie Emma cuddle yet. So I'll just have to wait until he knows me a little bit better and his comfort level is kind of there, but it'll be really, really nice to see them again. And yeah, I've got a few things planned when we're back on the coast as well, just like dinners and places that I've wanted to go for like the fam or for me and Jazz to do to just like fill in our days. And fingers crossed it is good weather because Queensland can be so temperamental at that time of year. Like 
Sometimes when I go home for Christmas, it just rains the entire time and then it's really sunny in Melbourne. So I just get kind of annoyed that I'm not here, but I actually think this is the perfect year to be leaving because it has still been freezing here. I'm actually fake tanned at the moment because there's no way I could have got any natural sun because it's just been ice cold and raining the whole time. So I'm very much looking forward to getting some warm weather. What are you doing now? My feet are not your toy. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of the plan for me for Christmas. I would love to know what all of you are getting up to over your Christmas break and if you're getting away anywhere or there's any family that you also haven't seen for a really long time. So definitely leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear what you guys are up to as well. And maybe I'll see some of you when I'm on the Gold Coast if you're Queenslanders. I'll also be up in Brisbane, I think, for New Year's Eve. Um, so that will be really, really exciting. And that's kind of the plan. I don't really know what to do. Like I've genuinely just been like looking at flights and I haven't booked a flight back home yet, but I do start back at work on the 9th. So if we're having a good time, we might just stay and whatever, cause it's free accommodation at my parents' house anyway. But I kind of have the inkling that we might come back a little bit sooner. So yeah, I'll have to figure that out. I guess we should probably book a flight before they're like extremely expensive, but it just sort of takes away from like the organic way to enjoy spending time and then just go home when you're ready, but that's fine. It's just a thing when it's that time of year. So that's it from me. I am just about to cook some homemade pizzas for dinner because Jazz is coming over and we are gonna book Avatar movie for this weekend, but I'm kind of like on the fence about looking forward to it because it goes for three hours. So if anyone's seen it, let me know if it's good because I don't know, like three hours sitting in a cinema is a little bit much for me. So I'm like kind of hoping he booked gold class just so we'll be like really comfortable. But anyway, very much looking forward to that. I think it's been like 10 years since the last one. So that is it from me. Thank you for spending the day with me. I hope you guys really enjoyed. And those photos from the photo shoot will be on my Instagram, but they are also gonna be on my business page, which you can follow because I am about to launch that as well. So I'll leave the tag here. It's called We Are Former. That's all I'm gonna say for now and I will have an update for you in the new year properly. Thanks so much guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!